everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I'm filming a bit of a different video today and it's a topic that I don't really talk about that much on my channel but it's something that I feel quite passionate about and something that I really really love. So today's video is in partnership with a company called Designer Exchange. So Designer Exchange is basically a second-hand designer goods retailer so they sell all sorts from bags to shoes to sunglasses to watches, to purses, to absolutely everything. And I have sold with Designer Exchange before and I've also bought from them before. So when they contacted me and asked to work together on a video, I was so excited because I know that they're an amazing company and yeah, I just absolutely love what they do, love everything they sell and everything like that. So, as I said, they um, resell luxury goods, so it's great because, you know, firstly, it's very sustainable, so you aren't buying something that's new. Secondly, it's way more affordable than buying a brand new bag and thirdly I love vintage bags and I think sometimes it can be quite scary to buy a vintage bag online like maybe if you're buying it on eBay or something like that because you don't have that authenticity um, and you kind of have to trust the person that's selling it which can be quite difficult sometimes especially when you're looking at a vintage bag as well um, where perhaps there's not that many of them out there and stuff like that so what I love about designer exchange is they authenticate the bags for you so you can fully 100% trust that the bag that you're buying is genuine which is just like takes that massive worry out of buying a secondhand bag for me i also love that they're just so easy to buy and sell with so in this video i filmed it a couple of days ago and i headed into the store um, and i showed you guys around they have stores in quite a lot of places there's one in manchester one in birmingham i think there's one in leeds um, i think there's two in london and they also have some abroad as well um, so I'll link it all down below, all the information of where their stores are and stuff. Um, so not only do they have their stores, which is really, really nice because you can go into the store, you can look at the bags, you can get a feel for them and everything like that, try them on. Um, but they also have a website, which is super easy as well because you can literally head onto the website, which I'm going to show you in a second, type in Chanel or whatever it is that you're looking for and all of the bags that they have will come up along with the description, um, their little quality kind of rating, they use like a star rating for quality. And yeah, so overall, I think it's a great company and I'm so happy to be working with them on this video. So I am going to show you guys the clips that I took when I headed into store earlier this week um, and then after that we'll come back and have a little look on the website. So let's head into So we have made it into Manchester and the place where we're going to is in yeah, so it's the Exchange Arcade. Um, it's literally like kind of near like M&S um, kind of thing. But anyway, so we're going to head in now and see what we can find. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gone
guys just saw me having a little look and a wander around the Sounder Exchange store. It was quite hard to film in there because it was like really bad lighting and it was also really busy as well. Um, but I did get a fair few clips um, and there was some such nice stuff in there. A really nice YSL um, little oh, sac de jour which was so nice. Um, there was some nice vintage Louis Vuitton stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back home and I'm going to have a little look on the website just in case you guys don't live near a store. So I want to show you guys how the website works and everything like that because obviously you can't tell like how good condition and stuff the bag is online but they do have like a like a system where you can sort of see how yeah good the condition is and stuff so yeah I'm gonna show you that and yeah so I'll catch up with you then so I am back now to show you a little bit of the website and everything like that because I just want to show you how like easy it is to use um, and sort of how to navigate your way through it and stuff like that so let's get on with that so this is the website here, so it's super easy to use. Along the top you have products, so you could choose bags, shoes, you know, watches, sunglasses, whatever. And then next to that you have the designer. So for example, if you just wanted to filter it by Chanel or Louis Vuitton or something like that. There's also a little button at the top there which says sell to us. So if you are thinking about selling your goods with the designer exchange, then I will talk to you guys about that a little bit at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and have a look through the bags. Okay, so these are all the Chanel bags, um, just sort of at like a mid-range price. So if I just click on the first one, just so I can talk you through um, sort of the quality and everything like that. So obviously you've got your price up there. Also it says how much you could sell the bag for if you own this bag, if you're wondering how much they would buy it for um, and everything like that. Obviously you can ask a question and stuff like that. Also it tells you where the bag is, which I think is quite helpful, obviously, if you want to go and try it on. Obviously you have all the features and everything like that, the size, the dimensions, um, you know, the colour, the material. And then this is also what I want to talk to you about. So this is the quality rating. So it's three out of five stars, which is very good, excellent condition with light signs of wear. So I think that's really, really helpful. Obviously there are quite a few pictures of it as well, all down here. But overall I find the whole process shopping on here very, very easy. And then obviously you could scroll through similar bags or just head back onto the main page and look through all of the rest of them. So in terms of selling your bags, the way that you do it, I've done this with a Balenciaga rucksack. I took it into the store in Birmingham because that's where I was living at the time. And um, basically they authenticated it for me. So they obviously checked it was real. And then they offered me a price for it. Now the prices, you get two different prices. So you either get a cash price. So that's how much they will give you cash or you can get a voucher. So the voucher will be more than the cash price because obviously you can then spend it in their store. Um, I think I took cash at that time, um, but the voucher price was a little bit more, but it was a super easy process. Um, and then that was it, took it off me and gave me the cash. Happy days. Um, so it's a really, really good way of selling your designer bags as well as buying them. So yeah. So now I'm gonna have a little look through the website and see if there's anything that I like and hopefully the next clip in this video will be me talking about my new purchase from Designer Exchange. Hi everyone, so it has been a little while since I last spoke to you, probably about five days and between then and now I have purchased my bag from Designer Exchange. Um, just to be like totally transparent, this was partially purchased with a gift card um, and then the rest of it was all my own money. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, reveal the bag and talk about my experience shopping with them and everything like that so da, da, da. <laughs> so wee. oh that's sneak peek <laughs> so this was the bag that i went for when designer exchange first reached out to me i was pretty sure this was the bag that i was going to go for anyway but i did want to have a little look and see what there was and stuff like that but yeah so it is the chanel classic flap um in this like beautiful grained leather which is going to be so so durable and that's what i wanted i wanted a bag like as much as chanel is such a precious and special bag i did want to be able to wear it all the time and not be really really worried about it so that's why i picked it up in the grained leather um, and i was so happy they had the size i wanted and everything like that um obviously it has the gold hardware and the gold chain so this came in the designer exchange dust bag which is downstairs and it came really nicely packaged um, it has a big tag on it as well so obviously if you want to return the bag you can just fill in this form at the back and then i think do you send it back let's have a look so to return you fill in this form and then you can either take it back into the store or you can post your item um so yeah really good that you can return because a lot of secondhand designer places don't let you do returns so that is amazing because sometimes you get the bag and it's just not what you expected or you know it doesn't work with your style or whatever it is so you can return it so i'll open this little baby up so inside obviously you have the 
zipped compartment here and apparently i read somewhere that when coco chanel was designing these bags she was like in the middle of a love affair and she used to keep her secret love letters in this compartment i think that's right um but anyway and then inside you have that gorgeous burgundy color um with the two sh like double c and um yeah and then that is the inside of the bag it's quite dark so i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that but it's a pretty spacious bag it's very roomy you can fit a lot in there actually um and it's got compartments um and it's got a front compartment as well um so yeah i mean that is the bag really it didn't come with um like an authenticity card or anything like that but like i said before designer exchange do authenticate the items so they're always 100 percent real and also if you wanted to you could go and authenticate it yourself so you're not going to be able to see this because it's literally tucked in right down there. But there's a little, um, tiny little Chanel sticker on with a number, which is obviously the authenticity number. So if I wanted to, I could buy this bag, take it into the store, get it authenticated um, and yeah, be happy with it. So this bag was £2,800. And now, don't get me wrong, I know that that is a lot of money for a bag of any kind, but for a Chanel bag that is in this kind of condition, I'll talk more about the condition in a second, that is a blimmin' good price. Like, honestly, I was so thrilled with that price, with the condition of it and everything like that. So yeah, I got this for 2,800. There are some cheaper ones on the website. There are some more expensive ones. So yeah, just have a little browse and see, you know, what you think and everything like that. I love buying secondhand design. I really don't bother me at all um, because I think firstly, it's more sustainable. Secondly, you get a way better price. I just think you may as well buy secondhand designer when it literally comes looking brand new. So literally, you can see there isn't like a single bit of wear on it like you'd think the corners would have gone a little bit um i suppose it is such a durable bag but it really doesn't even seem like it's been used there's no transfer or like rubbing there um the gold is in perfect condition the inside is perfect literally doesn't seem like it's been used at all um so that is pretty amazing because i don't even know how much these bags are new but i think they're around the five thousand pound mark uh, maybe four thousand um so yeah all in all, literally, like, so, so thrilled with this bag. So happy with the whole procedure and everything that happened. Um, they kept me updated. They sent emails when it um, the order had been processed, when it had been, you know, dispatched and when it was going to arrive and everything like that. So the whole process was amazing. And like I said, I have um, sold and bought from Designer Exchange before, so I knew that the process was going to be good anyway. Excuse all the mess behind me. Obviously, you could wear it crossbody like this, um, or you could just wear it sort of over one shoulder. But yeah, I think it's a beautiful bag. I think Chanel is so, so timeless. And I'm honestly just over the moon to have this bag in my collection. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for Designer Exchange for working with me on this video. And as I said earlier, that bag was purchased partly with a gift card and partly with my own money. Um, honestly, I'm just so excited to have it in my collection. And I hope this has sort of helped you guys if you were thinking about buying a bag secondhand but didn't really know where to go to and everything like that. Um, and also maybe helped you if you're looking to sell a bag too. So yeah, if you are, then definitely head down to Designer Exchange and get them to value it and everything like that. So yeah, I think that's everything. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.